Hello everyone! Today I would like to show you all the steps you need to take to install Emu Flight on your flight controller. Alright, so the first thing you need to do before you try to install Emu Flight on your flight controller is do a backup of your current configuration. So I would go into Beta Flight and connect up to your current flight controller, go into the CLI, and I would suggest that you do a, an entire dump command, dump. That'll give all the settings, save that to a file. But the most important thing right now is make sure you do a diff command. And you can see here all of the differences from the defaults that are set up on your flight controller, whether your motors are adjusted, the name you have installed, all of your settings, all the important stuff. I'd suggest copying that off and saving it to a file. Okay, so once you've got that saved, you can disconnect from your flight controller again, quit the beta flight configurator because you're all done. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is go get the Emu Flight Configurator. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description, but you can get it at this GitHub site for the Emu Flight Configurator. I'm going to go here to try to download the most recent release. And because I'm running macOS, I'm going to download this Emu Flight Configurator version 0.11. Stick the Emu Flight into my Applications folder. And then I'm going to click Control and Open Emu Flight Configurator. And yes, it's from an unidentified developer. Uh, that's fine. I understand the risks. So let's open it. All right, so once you start up Emu Flight, you're going to want to do the update firmware. So let's click on Update Firmware. And I am going to choose that I'm my flight controller. My flight controller is a Kakute F7, which, if you weren't sure, should also show up in your diff file and your dump file. And there is one version from just a couple days ago here. I'm going to choose that. I'm also going to choose a full chip erase because I want it to wipe out all settings, start from scratch. Then I'm going to click down here on load firmware online. So it goes out, downloads the latest firmware. And once you've got that, you're going to want to click flash firmware. All right, here we go. All right, it's got the green bar, it says programming successful. And we're connected. We've got Emu Flight. It says we're at EMUF 0 0.10 with configurator 011. And now we should be all set up with just the total defaults. So at this point, we need to go into the CLI and we need to go copy that file we saved and paste in all of our important changes. Not everything, but just the stuff that really matters. So let me go find that file. Here's the text file where I saved all the settings. I'm going to go down to the bottom where I did the diff part of it. Let's see if I can go through these sort of one at a time. All right, well, I know I remapped all my motors, so I definitely want to put this motor resources back into the CLI. So that looks good. I guess I had telemetry set. I'm not sure what that's about exactly. And I had my D-Shot beacons enabled. I 
I don't care about the LEDs. Here are all the settings for my modes. Uh, I had the uh, DJI protocol fast S bus enabled. I'm not going to do that because that's not supported by Emu Flight at this time. And I also had RPM filtering stuff, which required special D-Shot settings. I'm not going to do that. But I do want to have my motor protocol D-Shot 600. Uh, my ESC is my current meter, though that doesn't really matter to me. Set small angle 180. I'm going to do that again so I can arm at any angle. I had some dead band and yaw dead band set up here. Um, if you want your OSD settings copied over, you can do that. I'm going to set my name. It's an invalid name. Maybe I need quotes around it or something. Well, I'll skip that for now. I'm not going to set any of these PID PID settings. I'm going to leave those at the default. Uh, that looks like that's the only other thing except serial. I'm going to copy this serial line as well. Type save. It's going to save and reboot the flight controller and connect again. <clears throat> now we're here back in Emu Flight and I'm going to double check that I have all my settings back to the way they were. Got UART1 set up with MSP and that's because I have the DJI FPV system here and that's what gives me my DJI OSD and all the connections to it. And UART6 is my radio control, so that looks good. Go into configuration, set to DSHOT 600. Everything else should be... Looks like the default for the gyro is 8K, 2K. So for now, I'm just going to leave all of this at the defaults. Be sure to change your radio setup if you need to. That should have been in your diff. And everything else. Let me double check that things just sort of do a quick sanity check. To make sure they all look pretty good. My PID settings. Filter settings. Receiver. Check my modes tab to see that I've got my arming switch set the way I want it to, my beeper is set up, and flip over after crash mode is set up. Motors tab. All right, at this point, make sure you have your props off. Then I'm going to connect up a battery and just double check that my motors are all set the way they should be. I'm going to click I understand. I'm going to bump up the master just a little bit. And my motors are not spinning at all. Well, that's weird. So at this point, I discovered that my flight controller, which is a Kakute F7 uh, HDV, is not supported by this version of Emu Flight. Hopefully that will be rectified in the future, but for now, this flight controller is not going to work but everything I did up to this point should work just fine on all kinds of other flight controllers. Just double check that everything's good here, go through the motors, make sure they're all spinning the right direction, and then you're ready to head outside, put the props on, and do a quick hover test. Check to see that your motors are staying cool. And after that, do a couple little quick flights, and you should be good to go. If you have any other questions about Emu Flight or how to make things work, or if you have any trouble with it, read definitely read through the emu flight wiki and if you don't find what you want there there's a great emu flight discord channel and i'll put links to all these things down in the description and until then have fun flying see you later one more thing before i go if you care about the regulations that are affecting our hobby please consider checking out the fpv freedom coalition by heading over to fpvfc.org